Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're playing now as the Montana Chapter. And I've played as them before, but I now went down, I think the left path was it? Yeah, I did it went down the left path, so this time we're going to go with Patroculus' plan. At least, hopefully. Uh, but we'll begin with Patroculus' charge. Patroclus was entrusted with a mission of utmost urgency to trail one of the most recent and notorious traitors in the Midwestern Brotherhood, then the Sisters of Steel. A ragtag unofficial order within the Midwestern hierarchy, the Sisters of Steel, were named such thanks to the foremost members, Paladin, Minerva, and Sentinel Honor, the latter of whom earned a particular rank for bravery and successful efforts against the Enclave skirmishers back in Chicago. Though largely social outcasts, many of their members are among the Brotherhood elite, though unfortunately in recent times they've been disgraced by the actions of their own, seeking rebirth in Montana. Many of them feel they have something to prove that in time to come, but Patroclus is charged long ago in the American Midwest. A set of Midwestern scribes and paladins were running a search operation within their hundredth or so derelict facility. Just as they thought they had seen it all, they found something remarkable, a map to a pre-war bunker that pointed at what had been once known as the state of Montana. The supply log was simple but powerful, and to some, mythological. The bunker was designed to hold its own weight in fusion cores, plasma rifles, and other associated supplies. The weight of such an expedition was considered for a time, but deemed fruitless. This bunker should have been plundered, as some said, others that it was simply far, too far to send a recovery detachment and expect realistic worthwhile results. With the threat of the Enclave in Chicago and the threads that held the brother together already strained, it was deemed unworthwhile. That is until one certain paladin decided to steal the notes, the cipher, and several other pieces of confidential brother data, eloping by her lonesome into the long night north. An expedition was mustered nearly overnight, the embarrassment and anger of the higher echelons like a a risable thunder through the ranks. To them, in such a state of emergency, there was only one man fit to send. Go, Patroclus, go forth and scour this traitor, and secure this vault for the Brotherhood, they told him, and so he set off what he'd prioritize in the expedition's forces. Experience over numbers? Experience was important, but numbers would outlast veterancy. Advanced technical armor. Well, let's come over here first. We have scavenged PA, not good. Uh, we're gonna need some of this too. Uh, some of that. We don't need this. Basic air venture. Sure. Uh, American technical armor, though. Scavenge PA. Vault tech armor. Oh, look at this one. Advanced. Oh, this is advanced technical armor. Armor's 30. Huh. Because mm. right now, this is what we normally have 35. It's actually worse armor. Soft attack. It's more soft attack, though. Mm. You get a little more manpower, which is nice. Uh, let's go with experience, though. Just because I want to go and grab this one. It should be nice. Family matters. A little conversation on the way to Montana. But I'll get this one done next. In the Fort Verde bunker. <laughs> Among Patroculus' ranks was a peculiar group, the Sisters of Steel. Controversial in the formation, and more so with the inclusion of the expedition. Composed of most entirely of ex tribals, reaver descendants, and reform raiders, the Scissors were a group of formed entirely around the concept of camaraderie of a codex, something that has gotten them into considerable trouble in the past. When Patroclus chose to include them, he did so out of a mixture of pity and mannered respect. The rogue paladin who had stolen the confidential materials was a sister herself, after all. What was called as expressed pushback at the thought, he had faith in the idea that they had a chance to redeem themselves under his charge and restore the position in the Brotherhood. Their leader, Sentinel Honor, has a long time since a disputed figure under the Midwestern hegemony. Some claim that even with her years of training under the Brotherhood, she retains a fiery independence unlike those of her status, causing those loyal to her to be fiercely so, and her detractors to be even let her sisters stand strong, and a fire burns underneath the ground. The world was on the cusp of greatness, or so they say, or was a hubris. Beside an energy, drilled deep beneath the waves for the last of Earth's oil, they harnessed the sun to keep Old Vegas ablaze in Yellowstone, and once a park, they drilled into Earth's marrow for energy. Marvelous in men's eyes, all night and day, under them a fire blaze, tireless and unquenchable. Poseidon's Hephaestus project, they say, would have powered 20 million homes for thousands of years. They say it would have solved the resource crisis, or they say it would set off a volcano in another nuclear winter. But they say a lot of things, don't they? Yellowstone's rangers refuse to activate the plant, but some others wonder, we're going to trust the wasteland with such technology. Uh, so with that, let's actually put a fire. Scribe Amity. I'm infamous, an infamous yet eccentric scribe, highly efficient and skilled in her field. Also likes pretty flowers. Notes. Quit writing your own entry. I've had to go over and correct this three times. Now, if there's a fourth, I'm going to follow the report. Um, Knight Warwick. As if you know me, which most of you probably do at this point, I like political power. Honor's plan. Uh, Tanya Kareva. Kareva. 
I'll read these later too, of course. Paladin Harriet. Political Mastermind. Ooh, Paladin. Oh, I've got to go with that one. As the Montana chapter nears, Paladin Joanna sees her own journey. By the fireside out on the frontier. Down the hill from Honor's perch of choice was a party of friends and family. Cries of cheer and valorous boasts emanated like a roundabout clockwork, as they did at every celebration, even still. As she watched campfires flicker and the knights drink deeply of the canteen, she could have felt more lonely. Before she could sink deeper in her thoughts, she heard the aged boot of Patroclus stamping down next to her. Sitting up here alone, he chuckled. You know, we're a week or so off of the bunker, Honor. Why not come celebrate? asked Patroclus. Honor snickered softly. As fun as that sounds, my mind remains in Joanna's situation. I can't fathom her reasoning. Patroclus sighed, understanding the dis but dismissive. I'll do you one better, it doesn't matter. She ran off with some of her most valuable knowledge without so much as a word in her stab. As far as I'm concerned, if she cared at all, she'd have said something. He rested his hands on his hips. I know what you're thinking, but she knows what would happen. I know her better than you, Patroclus, Honor said gently. She's not a traitor, she's family to you and me. Then suppose someone should have told her that before all this happened. Patroclus shrugged his shoulders. In any case, I'll have some of the others save you some rations. We don't want to we don't know what to expect deeper in Montana. He dusted himself off, glancing back to her. Family, Honor, is the folks who stay with you the whole way, no matter what. Honor glanced up with a semi-stern gaze, virtue with a val valorous intent. I agree, she said, knowing they meant two different things. The night is long, and our heart's young. Look at that. What could happen here? A lost ship. On our way into Montana, one of our blimps was lost to a storm. Thankfully, some of them had to have survived. We received feedback on the radio from one of their commanding officers. We couldn't get details before the line broke again. We want to keep an eye out for them in the region, or at least hope they find their way back home. Let's hope they are all right. I just love War Attack. Please. I love me the power armor. <coughs> and I want to expand heavily in this campaign. Uh, the sisters held only so much authority within the Montana expedition. Once this grace, they seek to undermine all that the Brotherhood holds dear. We cannot let that happen, and we need Patroclus' plan. Joanna's journey as Patroclus, and his expedition mustered them so the long road ahead. Paladin Joanna continued her own, forging a path to Montana with the ciphers and map close to her person at all times. Through what her wit cannot break, her power armored fist did. She forded rivers by riding across scraped floats, traveled with caravans through desolate woods, and even helped a young Yao Guai out of a tree on the way to Montana. When she arrived at her bunker, Fort Verity, she was surprised to see it wasn't vacated like her fort said. On canopies of thin veils, people with, uh, were tending to rows of sprouted crops. The photo Joanna proceeded with her might, her wits. Tanya watched the stranger approach. Between the hairlines of her scope, she could make out a walking form of power armor. Lag like it hadn't slept for days, yet so moving with the efficiency of a predator and the confidence of a very successful one at that. Tanya clenched her jaw. More bad news for Verity? Fine with her, but she kept her rifle pointed at the trespasser. Not like they would know that they were clean out of ammo. After all, they've had their fair share of troubles in the last few months. A broken water fear fire, prowling, ra prowling raiders, a scavenger party to never return, hunger and radiation sickness. Hope still, they called her. She who carries on despite the odds. More than anything these days, however, the nickname felt disingenuous. Still, she had promised Catronia, and she kept her promise. To her surprise, the armored trespasser shucked off their plasma rifle. The weapon hit the ground with a static rattle. I'm not looking for trouble, just answers. A woman's voice filled her through the armor. There's nothing here for you, Tanya called back. Turn back, trespasser. The armored trespasser took off her helm, revealing a young woman, her eyes brimming with a sort of hope Tanya hadn't seen in a while. I'm Paladin Joanna, the woman announced, and I have something I can, that can help you all. Tanya reeled back from her scope. A paladin? And a surprise woman is smaller than offer. I can make this garden green. Joanna's peace did not last long, just as expected. The brother came knocking. Patroclus's iron fist demanded the townsfolk release Joanna to them under the threat of forceful seizure. Despite the protests of the residents, Patroclus knew justice had to be served. Joanna would meet her end, righteously so, by brotherhood hands. But Honor did not see it that same way. Joanna was brotherhood, and more importantly, she was family. The sisters conspired amongst each other, forming a ploy to undermine Patroclus's authority. Patroclus had eyes everywhere, though. Steady as she goes. Patroclus rallied his platoon outside. They dragged Joanna from the bunker and threw her to the ground. Their brother had formed a circle around the rogue paladin to keep up any unwanted intervention. To, some, to one side of Patroclus was sentinel honor. On the other side was Knight Warwick. Loyalty is a fragile thing, Patroclus began. The paladin Joanna, for your violations against the chains that bind, we shall grant you mercy from disgrace. A swift death will do you well. Joanna knelt before her elder. Her posture was stiff, bracing for the supposed inevitable. She raised her hand slowly to take off her helm. Like her armor, her face sported patches of dust and grime. Warwick faltered at the sight of her sister's face. Elder, I 
will not speak a word, Patroclus snapped. He could not blame Warwick. Witnessing a family die was never easy, but there's no time for second thoughts. A violation was a violation. He shot his hand up, glancing at Paladin Heyman with a nod. And at last, poor Joanna. Heyman clicked her gun to Honor's Temple. And don't, you don't think you... Uh, and don't you think about it. Honor dropped her gun. Minerva raised hers in response, shouting a word of command, but to surprise and visible, or visible concern, only a fraction of the sisters took stance. Did you really think I wasn't going to find out about this? Patroclus sighed, betraying me at an execution for treason. Surely you see the irony, Sentinel. There's no irony in unjust murder, Honor glared back. Patroclus's brow darkened. He balled his fist, but all he could do was stare back at her, glowering. She's going to be acting more childish about the situation. Heyman scoffed. If that's how you feel, then maybe we can make it room for two. No, Patroclus said sternly, leaning towards Honor. First, how many more are you are there? More than you would ever care to know. Honor spat back. Even now, she acted as though she was immune to the world. Heyman glanced back at Patroclus. He nodded. Get on with it. Heyman shouted, and like that, Paladin Joanna was no more. Dark things were on the horizon. Change that bind. Well, I'm trying to see what the story is. Ooh. Oh, I'm, looking. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's anything that we need to race to get that's extremely beneficial to us. Doesn't seem like it. It's not bad. The chains of bind. In the end, uh, all all that holds the brother together are the chains of bind. To subvert or oppose them is to call our entire livelihoods into question. The sisterhood and the rest of their elk gave me every warning possible, and I'll still try to help them. Never again. Oh, maybe we should not get rid of that. Glorious purpose. Hey, let's do this one. Militarizing Montana. Montana is healthier than most wastelands, which makes it far more valuable. Holding won't be easy, and taking it won't be easy won't be easy either. When you be ready for whatever comes your way, and strangers from the strange land. Sigfra's report, Elder. A contingent of cultists, calling themselves ruminators, have arrived on our doorstep, carrying with them what they claim to be welcoming baskets. Upon further questioning, they're from a town called Rosebud out west, and it seems generally cooperative, though who's to say it isn't a facade. I'm at a loss and need to be guidance. What do you think we should do? Send them away. We aren't here to make nice. Welcome. We have no reason to be cold. We're here on a mission. It's Elder Patroclus. Rank Elder, go Patroclus, go forth to Montana, the Midwestern Hierarch said, and secure for the Brotherhood. An envoy of the Midwest, and a brother of Stalwart, Patroclus had seen many theaters of combat, and engaged with different arrows of Midwestern rule. Prior records make note of this ruthless efficiency and curt, straight to the point, candor. Deemed perfect to finish the Brotherhood's mission in Montana. Change that bind. Patroclus found Warwick sat outside the bunker, watching the orange laden violets dance around the sunset by his lonesome, approaching across his arms in a friendly manner, trying to share the view. Night Warwick, he nodded as their eyes met. What's on your mind? Patroclus asked, glancing down at the night. It's not like you to be so sullen. And that was silent for several less moments. Take a deep, a deep breath. He turned to look at the elder in full. I just thought it'd be easier, you know. Patroclus narrowed his eyes. What do you mean? Warwick's gaze fell and his tone grew hushed. I don't blame you for not knowing. She, we didn't talk much. He drew a long, wistful sigh. She was my sister, Joanne. I mean, I had months to think about it on the way here, and still, well, it wasn't easy. Warwick mumbled, taking a long sip of his canteen. It was your duty. It had to be done, Patroclus said, son. Valna, I know what I've understood. Do you know what what the last thing my mother said to me before she died? Take care of Joanna. Warwick glanced at Patroclus expectantly. Though he stood as tall as valiant as ever, Patroclus felt that the same knot in his stomach. It doesn't get easier. What? Living with a Patroclus bit his cheek, glancing up in the night. Patroclus sighed, rubbing his own neck for a moment. It doesn't just get any easier, Warwick. Eventually, you just become numb to it, and it becomes part of who you are. He patted Warwick's broad shoulder. When I was a boy, I saw my father, a negligent do know nothing raider, executed by a brother and soldier. A lie, of course. I tell people I was born to this whole thing, but I wasn't. He rolled his tongue with a thoughtful click, and I still see it when I shut my eyes. Not every wound will heal, Warwick, and that's okay. He said, sitting up and walking off, leaving the night alone with the stars. Take note, then, of your chain, brother. Oh. Glorious purpose. Joanna's fate was sealed, and a minor form of order had been restored to Fort Verity thanks to the brother's newfound control. With his previous inhabitants removed from the premises, and threats were all around, it was time to start thinking bigger than just the bunkers. So after the next one, we'll get Amity next. We definitely need this. Bunker Blues? Oh, we wouldn't be a brother without the Bunker Blues. Good. Uh, I guess we'll come over here and do this one next. Also, we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Old World Blues Generic Decisions Revamped, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, Old World Blues for the little guys, too, just in case. For funsies. High hopes and heavy hearts. Oh, yeah, the hearts are heavy now. So for that, and we're going to grab Nightly Armaments because we need to. I always choose this one because I like it. Political power, stability. It's always nice to have. One way or another. Uh, let's get more army XP somewhere here. No. Power armor. 
The list of things to check off is growing by the day. Numbers to replace the sisters. Weapons upgrade to proficiency. Nearby airfield in need of clearing or two or another. Montana would need to be freed of its inadequacies. More training is nice. Eh, it's not bad. Manpower. Manpower. The mission to Montana was complete. The bunker had been secured. The traitor Joanna was no more, and now the sisters were extinguished, or at the very least, on their last legs. Yet, the longer I remained with my detachment in Montana, I've heard more and more disturbing things from the locals. The king of roaches to the east. A nuclear cell occupied by heathenists, cultists, scant rumors and legends of an enclave split on the mountains. The less went on and on. If even half of these rumors are true, then that means that the tranquility of Montana doesn't have long for this world. These people have little to no means of defending themselves against such domineering threats, of course, naturally. Securing the land should be paramount, though I know it's not to be an overnight experience. The schisms and pains we have experienced thus far are too many to count, and so we must adapt to our new environment, and my assessment is as is quite simple. It's time for a new, glorious purpose. Ooh, conscripted labor. Oh, that's nice. Arms workshops, connecting brother to authority. Ooh. I produce advanced technical armor. That'd be very good. These are all really good stuff to get. But we're going to focus more on the right side because this is all stuff we could have done, but, you know. I was, I was at 1.2, so. Arms workshops. I mean, this is nice. We'll probably focus on this one last. More sports good and all, but holding carrots on sticks. Though many were already deceased or gone with the wind, the sisters were still operating in some capacity. Dealing with them in the coming days would require totalitarian's precision. I guess we can. Taxation or tyranny. Many people in Montana served as leeches to their neighbors. Taking these people and putting them to work will be mutually beneficial agreement, whether they recognize it or not. What was left behind? Patroclus nurtured a bottle of whiskey as he stared at the mural, his heart shrinking with every lingering gaze. He wasn't sure when the townsfolk had made it, whether it was before or after the expedition arrived. Taking another swig, he stared directly at her once more. No pain him to admit it, they most certainly were bit nail. So they, they most certainly nailed the biting hope in Joanna's eyes. Are you happy? Honor would ask if she were here, and he would answer, No, I'm not. Her comments. Well, snap were upon you. She was his biggest critic in the end, but she helped him with what he couldn't see. Now that she was gone, well, he had himself. But Joke has followed the code. He did exactly as he was told as he had all those his, all his years. Joanna betrayed the same code, and yet her memory was immortalized. Not by her crimes, but vibrant colors and painted flowers. But Joklis couldn't help but wonder what he'd leave behind when he, when he when died. Or he died. What would his legacy be, if anything? Well, whiskey's a tricky thing, he said, then thought with a dry smile. Elder Heyman's voice called from behind. Are you doing okay? Patroclus sighed, frustrated that they'd allowed Heyman to sneak up on him. Yes, I'm quite all right, he said, shoveling the near-empty whiskey bottle out of sight. What do you need, Heyman? Just checking up on you, Elder. We've been here quite a while. Patroclus cocked a half grin at that. This all just filled, if even only halfway. Sometimes all he needed to count on in the world was loyalty. Heyman was still with him, and maybe that's all he needed. I've just been thinking of what to do with this mural. Heyman nodded, crossing his arms at the artwork. I say tear it down. The less martyrs, the better. Patroclus sighed, glancing at the mirror once more. No, we keep it. Let her memory rest peacefully. Patroclus would be more likely to condemn for their actions. And sisters. You're right, we can't have any more rebel fodder. Yeah. We got rid of them. Our mission is to continue stamping them out. Whether we like it or not. A mission is a mission. Ballad and Jack. Expanding the gang. Night thrift. Cover rate. Interesting. Upkeep and up. Oh, effective Kandur. It's not great. Veteran Paladin of Minerva. Well, obviously, we can't choose this person now. Power of Might. I like that. Army Speed Gain, too. It's very nice. Uh, Nightly Armaments. Yeah, that one's definitely one we want to choose. Economic Advisors. It's not bad. Not terrible. Research Efficiency. Are we losing anything? No, we're okay for now. Decorated Hero. Stability. Um, we have initiates. Oh man, this is already all. Oh, this is all the manpower we get. Oh good. Oh good lord. Not ideal. Um. Hmm. Chief of the Air Force, Knight Peter. Well. Army wages, centralized stockpiles. Yeah, that all makes sense. Well. I'm gonna come down here and just grab them anyways. We're not gonna have any benefit of having them immediately, but whatever. Paladin, you're gonna definitely you're level three, it's not bad. You know what? We're gonna go with I like local leader, but I also like inspirational. Twenty percent. Well We're not gonna be able to make that much power armor anyways. We'll have at least two armies here. Let's go with learning more faster. And doing that. 
And the next person that we can have will uh, maybe be a local leader. Reconciling with the sisters. Oh. Appropriate in his incentive. Heyman and Patroclus walk side by side through the bunker halls, both with their brows stern. The sisterhood's betrayal turned a lot of heads down, even more to the side. Oh, what's it coming? Energy weaponry, nice. We can't ignore Patroclus. Heyman slapped her hand down on the elder's shoulder. They need to be dealt with. I know, Patroclus said flatly, thinking over the situation. I was fooled to even bring him along. We have bigger fish to fry. Heyman will not be happy. Reconciling. Hunt down the sisters. Earning or rewarding loyalty. Demanding a sit rep. Swords of Heyman. Swords of Heyman. Streamlining the sisters. The undeserving. Honor's betrayal of the bunk was unacceptable. We're lucky we pulled through as, we, as well as we did. For the few sisters that have remained in the area, or even worse, in our ranks, we must instill a sense of consequence and loyalty. We cannot afford more division. Or reconciling. I refuse, refuse, refuse to punish her brothers and sisters for throwing their lot in with the hopeful of a few sisters. There's been much bloodshed within her brother already. Luckily, there's a better way, one I'll pursue at all costs. Even if it damns me in the eyes of the hardliners, I'll ensure that the sisters have a place in her chapter on the field or not. So we can do revealing a Heyman's Hand, Operation Daylight, Double Agents, No War Without with Honor, yeah. Sigfra's Mission, Honor's Recruitment, A Hangman's War, Scraping Heyman's Augments, Follow the Howl, Soldier Rehabilitation, Familiar Secrets, or Back in the Saddle. Sisters of Steel Templates. Sisters with Misters. Oh, we're using this template. Good to know. An Armed Society. R and R. Approaching Raiders. Raider Reformation Mandates. Raider Training. Approaching farmhands. Farmhand training. Mass recruitment drives Northern Lights. Middle marks. And the oldest American evil. Summon Dagger Squad. Lots of defenses closing the gap. For all the safety of mankind. Purge Enclave Elite. Breath of Scraps. Ooh, you get Bird of Birds eventually. Busted Enclave Machinery. Construct of Thought, Construction, Electronics, Mini Nukes. Claim all of Montana and Dakota. Well, I kind of like this. For, I like that there's unique something else that can happen if you went with the aftermath of everything here. But I kind of don't want to deal with that, in all honesty. Familiar Secrets. Uh, and the left side is kind of that filler ish. We're here to do a mission. And she I mean, we could do the other one, but. Uh, Heyman will not be happy. No. Patroclus is rage is quiet and steady. He had learned to keep himself moderated a long, long time ago. I was fooled to even bring him along, he mumbled, lips furrowing as he flashed back over everything. Heyman shrugged. We have tried to warn you. I know Patroclus bit the inside of his cheek, crossing his arms, and I'm not making this a mistake again. He said, pulling out a piece of paper and scribbling an errant message upon it. Stamping it with a brother's sigil, he practically threw it at Heyman. Take his little care on a stick I've thrown together, have the scraps print as many as possible, and hang them around the outside and inside the bunker. Heyman glanced at the paper. A bounty had been opened for every self-proclaimed sister of steel. Smirking, she looked back at Patroclus. Add Victorium, Elder. Add Victorium, Patroclus repeated, watching with an empty gaze as Heyman exited the room. No sister of mine. Oh, Justina Heyman. That's cool. Yeah. We cannot afford more division. That's right. This uh, ten, yeah. Oh wait, y'all are fifteen. Yeah, you were the better ones. Uh, I'll switch you over immediately. Not that much political power. Um, I wouldn't mind just going to welcome army. You might as well for now. 
the undeserving. Many of the sisters attempted to combat us at the bunker, with them now dead and with the other demoted thanks to their own ideology or idiocy. We can reappropriate their armor to give more deserving individuals. One big happy brotherhood. Let we get more attack and defensive core territory with them. With the Sentinel honor gone, we're now free to merge the remnants of the sisters into the Montana proper. No more shall we be foolishly divided like children on either side of a playground. Lost Hills Community Key. Lost Hills, the formal head of the Brother to Steel, has just sent us a preliminary community key. He seems intent on wishing to restart efforts to reestablish communications with us. The orders are always up to something. Hey, look at that. Nice. Military command, well. I kind of have to go with Night Threat, don't I? And that's a unique image. Rank Knight, best known for his explosive know how and technical expertise. Night Threat's the next raider with a jolly spirit of the abstract methodologies. Though criticized for his trigger happy tendencies, as noted by a few of his superiors, his technological breakthrough and contributions to the Brotherhood are unmatched. His wit and craftiness have drawn praise from significant Brotherhood personnel. Night Threat was recruited by honor and put into reform under her. Since then, he has pledged service to the Brotherhood. I was informed Thrift had a bomb in his hand today in the middle of the settlement. In the case today, the day he winds up dead, I am sending a reminder for someone to retrieve his hollow attack. Hmm. Expanding the game. Well, this is. Uh, ah. I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't choose him since it was under honor that he was recruited and whatnot, but you know, whatever. At this point. We're going to talk about people's origins sometimes, I guess. Big ol' happy brotherhood. And Minerva, the outspoken paladin. Minerva has been one of her best trainers. While enamored with the concepts of fair sport and shumite, which add considerable credence to her position, she too is a supporter of honor's schemes. She must be put back into place, lest anyone flocks to her for as a second choice. Oh, what goes around? Touching base with Minerva. Oh. Strange, no stupid signals. Radio frequencies in the Great Shield have been all locked up for the past couple days because of that horrible din coming out of every channel. It's gone so bad that sounds are even coming out of our forks and bed springs. Wow. As if they're picking up frequency too. No engineer's seen anything this bad before, but whether it's sabotage or misconduct has yet to be determined, but we do know it's bad. Oh. Bye, model. That's not good. You guys are 10 combat with. Followers of the Apocalypse, uh, that doesn't make any sense for why we use them, but we're going to do them anyways just because uh, we get more science points that way too. Yeah, there you go. Good. 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 Uh, Economic Advisors, Toothpick, it's not terrible. Severe, are we going? Night Warwick. That strong and cunning Knight Warwick, having requested to be referred to by his first name as to avoid confusion with his twin, has a highly capable and talented member of the Brothers Arsenal. While well, his confidence borderline smarm, as noted by new recruits who have expressed colorful comments on his ignore all like take charge attitude, he is well respected for his skill in firearms and decisive combat maneuvers. Knight Willow is a Willow is the latest descendant of the steam Pentecostals. Pentecost is a he continues to carry on their legacy of strength and valor for the Brotherhood. Wow, they really not make finish this one, did they? I'll make a note to get in there and update the name of entries. Huh. One big ol' happy Brotherhood, of course. Look at all that army XP. Oop. And it's gone. Actually, maybe I've done stuff over here. Flesh before steel. Let's be more defense, armor, hardness. Or Wasteland Knights, less infantry, less attack defense. Heavy special. So, we are the Brotherhood. The Wasteland's a harsh place, and we forged our place in it. Actually, I might go with this one. That's kind of unique. I like that one. We are happy. What goes wrong? For every action, there may be consequences. Back in the saddle, we finally squashed the last of the descent. Uh, uh, or the sisters. It brings me a considerable amount of shame knowing it was my fault they were even here in the first place. What was I thinking? Never one without the other, Sisters of Steel phrase, originally coined by Sentinel Honor. Sisters with Misters, more attack and defense. Basically, day in the bunker. Oh, research slot. Science Drive, Project Stargazer. A well equipped army, you sorry ladies. Gentlemen, and all of you in betweens is the most important, most efficient key to success here in Montana. Head Paladin Heyman. Looking over her shoulder. Uh, Minerva had grown a recluse since the sisterhood broke off. But she kept her soft, never a bit bite to back up her bark. It was only a matter of when Patroclus wondered she would snap. So at the edge of dawn, where a miraculous look would Minerva find him alone, she drew her gun on him. 
Patroclus, who was none surprised, instantaneously snapped his own gun in response. Don't make me a murderer, Minerva, Patroclus quietly demanded, his finger gently pressed against the trigger of his rifle. I'll make you a murderer, she scoffed, tell that to Joanna. You know that's not fair, don't forget, we're here to deal with her. <coughs> um, to deal with her, her eye twitched with a maddening craze, you old guy, I knew, I saw when we got there, you saw when we got there, she saved these people, she helped them get a better life, came in fired first. Patroclus watched as Minerva fell backwards, a perfect burnt-out hole in their forehead, releasing black smoke. The smell of burnt skin was in the air. Finally, some silence, Haman said, lighting cigars, she rounded the corner to reveal herself fully. Don't speak ill of the dead, Patroclus glanced over to Haman. Haman shrugged, we're all thinking it. Patroclus sighed and inspected Minerva's corpse with a tut. At least that's the last of our loose ends. Good. No loose ends. And more political power, too. Yeah, we're back in the saddle. I wouldn't mind going to war too soon as well. Fairview. The oldest American evil. Patroclus' log, of course. I thought I thought we had left them behind back in the Midwest. I heard the legends of what happened out west. What I even I feared worse as a child has come to pass. They live even still out here in the north. They were here first. We'll be last. We have to be. Back in the saddle, my friends. Uh -huh. Weekly manpower goes up. That's pretty good. Emergency conscription maneuvers. Uh, no problem. It's too great. The Uncle's presence here in Montana has a sense of chilling sense of urgency into the heart and mind of every pound in the night under myself. As such, this adrenaline can't be repurposed, in short. We're going to make this the best darn bunker the Brotherhood's ever seen. Good. Tons of power armor. They're not great, but it'll work for now. The greatest American evil. The elders' gaze whisp whipped up as Haman entered the chamber. Her already heavy stomps doubled from their usual fury. She stormed up to the desk, slamming down something that Patroclus thought they had left behind in Chicago. It was an enclave soldier's helmet. Judging by the plasma burns on its sides, it was recently scarred, no doubt, by the Brotherhood personnel. <coughs> With narrowed eyes, he looked to Haman, pallid and nodded back. Patroclus sighed quietly, placing his hands on his temple, he stared back into the cracked lenses of the dead man's helm as though it were a demon manifested, a monster who he thought only existed in his nightmares. How many? We don't know yet, Haman rolled her tongue around the inside of her mouth, her face locked into a sneer, all we know is the one came from the mountains. Patroclus glanced between Haman's tired visage and helmet, we'll need to be ready. Understood, Elder, Haman saluted, what are your orders? Send it west, he demanded, jamming his finger into the eyes, lenses, or helmet's lenses. Find a courier and send it west, I want them to know we're on our way. Haman half smirked. Add Victoria Melder, she said, taking the helmet and exiting. May we know no fear. Good. I do like this one. But resource efficiency gain, construction speed surveyor. We're going to need to build up Montana, my friends. And we need a lot more guns and power armor, too. What else is new? You know. The nation's in Old World Blues, and pretty much for everybody in any campaign. When there's a story, it just makes it much more fun, more interesting. No room for selfishness. But nearby imbeciles within the Coal Consortium believe that they have no need to give us what they have. Clearly, they have never been face-to-face -face with the threat of the Enclave, and so they cannot be taken seriously. Commandeering their supply by force is the only option. Closing the gap. I uh, hope there's a place we can get cores. If not... Go out of court manually. So that's on that side. Which we can't go because we didn't go this route. So we're over here. And we can't go here. Purge on. Well, that's after that. Yeah. Closing the gap. Our dominance in this region to be effective must be complete and must be harsh. No one will learn from anything if our control is anything other than total. Call to liberties, metal mouths, stormmongers. Traitor's roar. Listen up, you bunch of idiots. Your elder demands a strike so quick and calculated it'll send these rot guys crying on their planes to Chicago. That means one thing, one thing only. will not rest, will not waver, will not cry or moan or bitch or complain until the mountain of theirs is leveled. And by the time we're done, I'll see every piece of their sorry metal hides bent and broken in which every way the human brain possibly think of. Do I make myself clear? What is this? Yeah. 
move. Says no. 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 Oh, what's this? Oh, it's on the side. Yeah, I guess it fits the electronics. Oh, we're down here. For Middlemark's territory, 35. Starting compliance is nice. It's nice. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't. They get, of course, Seattle, too. That's actually really cool down there. And I do love that the Paradox developers did throw that in there, too. 38 out of 38. That keeps things... It makes it very easy to keep track of everything. So thank you to uh, Paradox for that. Recon speed. Decryption's pretty good. Soft attack reliability and hard attack for infantry. Everyone needs inf infantry equipment. And that's okay. Ooh, speed and more reconnaissance. Tiny bit of decryption is not very much. Soft attack. Recovery rate. Weapons expert. Uh... Recover faster. I want to do a lot of damage. Even though I think recovery might have been better. Oh well. Rapid deployment. Flexibility command. Flexibility movement. Well, we're not going to be really using fire teams too much. Breakthrough is nice. Max speed. More special forces capacity multiplier. Flexibility command. Organization loss. Experienced soldiers' losses goes down too. Um, I do want more though. Command. Flexibility movement. Army capable of attacking on the move requires great discipline. Against fury most engagements. Eh, oh, marching fire school will do it anyways. Closing the gap. Uh, arms Society. Yeah, you get another arms workshop. Many of the people here in Montana are sitting upon the weapons founders and stock bus by ages gone by. Securing these groups and their armaments will be keen to securing the region for the Brotherhood. How tough is standing rock? Because they do have horses, don't they? Which is very annoying to fight. We do have 12 divisions, though, so it's not terrible for us that we wanted to fight them. Leave out the infantry for now. No rush in taking them out. Hopefully. Arms lease, well deserved R and R. The Junior of the Montana has been excruciating to say the least. Many of our men would like a bit of time to have some fun before we pursue any further endeavors. Well I'm professional, I don't see that any harm allowing them to recharge. Arms lease. Securing the foundries in the area and their little manufacturing groups will be mandatory to move to help affirm our production. Good. Because we got a lot of things to produce. Oh, the immediately start hacking us. Good. Sure, guys. Oops, we're at war now. Still can't go there, which is fine. Um. Effective cannon door, speed, attrition, power of might. When the brother needs something done, quicken without question. Justina? Justinia? Hey, man, is the first to be consulted, a pragmatist soul. She would describe herself to be the absolute last resort in any given situation. In every operation she's ever been a part of, she's been through thorough and effective with a near 100% success rate. Now considered cruel and total in her dealings by even raiders, Haim was deemed to be the perfect companion of Patriculus' mission in Montana. Yes. They're pretty weak in the south. Might as well open up. Nice. Look at that army XP. Oof. Love it. Nice. We move around and see what happens. Yeah, they want to attack us. I'm okay with that. Grinding all that army XP is something I enjoy. You know what you can do? You go here and attack there next, maybe. Approaching raiders. I do not want raiders. So if you don't know about this, please go ahead. As well as raider training. There you go. Approaching farmhands. Farmhands are rough, tough, live off the land types. Gather them for a cause will be an excellent move, Elder. No doubt, too. And they know what's good for them. These sorry guys are already used to following orders. Oh. 
Oh, we're already beginning one. Whatever. What is this? Settle the people down, continue codex principles. Oh. Huh. Consume more goods. Continue to increase political power. Happy man. What am I attacking there? I think down here would be bad. We'll go here to here instead, maybe. Can we do that? Yeah, you could. Song for the front. Uh, actually, War Sport's pretty good. Uh, but we'll keep, continue to increase it because War Sport's difficult to get. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. Fireman training. The Fireman conscripts are taking well to what they, we've shown them. What's better than is that they've even given us some knowledge on conserving our own rations and allowing us to stay on the field even longer. Fantastic. Good. Let them struggle. I'm sure they get approach or uh, approach. Appreciate the army XP too. Interesting maneuver. All right. That's how long that that lasts. Playing the coal consortium is very difficult. Let them move around a little bit more. We might be able to bait some more into. Going in there. Toothpick. Uh, this helps everybody out. More production costs, better breakthrough, you know, good stuff. Give it either. Yeah, we go. That's yeah, so cute. Boom. It's only one division, but better than nothing. Are they raiding or attacking? Oh, they're also fighting them too. Salvaging energy weaponry. Many of our weapons were damaged in the way here, and we've even found some regards to the Stargazer queries. With minimal maintenance, we can get them back to a usable state and remarkably improve our arms to a body. Let's finish this guy off first, and then we're going to do a generic attack up here. Good. We gotta go in now. Go, go. Oh, they're forcing the attack too. Good. Yeah, it's good to see that. More research speed. There's shit more and more and more and more. Keep these guys in place. How dare you. You will regret that. Not today, but eventually. Uh, Night Peter, why not? We'll get him eventually anyways. I've lost a thousand. We've done 91% of the damage. We should be good. Oh, good. Even better. Even better, yes. The bank. God, I wish I could take the money out of a bank and keep it. Ah, oh, if only. Person could dream. And that might actually put us at war with the Cole Consortium, too. And we get a few screening ships to start working on naval XP that we'll not use. Yay! Nope. Alright, game train it is. Just please, they found something. Information authority, very nice. Perfect. Practice makes perfect. An industry requires a steady hand, and steady hands require efficient uh, equipment. Good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Brother of Exaltations. Many of our new recruits amongst them have already shown valiant problems, growing within our ranks and replacing our loss with unexpected speed. We're one of these few exalted men and women is far more than well deserved. Training report. More manpower. Mass recruitment drives with our higher echelons restored. Let's start getting work on a proper sortie back in action. If the Midwest expects to see us again, we better have something to show for other than flushy explosions or flashy explosions and gimmicky rifling techniques. Fear is the most valuable res most valuable sense. It didn't even need to be ordered for the Paladins to begin setting up fortifications and FOBs surrounding the bunker. Suddenly, we begin dipping into unknown territory and the nations around us. Um, to secure the paths in and out. One thing is for sure, we'll be ready when the time comes. Training report. They would have been called for war working Heyman to give him an all in person report on the recent ventures. Keeping tabs has become an important part of the post history of the expedition after all. Patroclus looked up from his papers as they entered, removing his reading glasses. How are you two liking the new initiates? Uh, Heyman cut Warwick off in a flash. 
I'm glad you asked. You pull out a laser pistol, aiming directly at Patricula's head and firing. A near perfect 45 degree miss, the laser leaving a black mark on the bunker wall. Uh, after a fumble, the elder snarled back. Watch where you point that darn thing, Heyman. Patricula spat. Uh, she rolled her eyes beneath her helmet. You know darn well it wasn't going to hit you, she said dismissively. Warwick withheld a comment, instead answering as normally as he could. So that bad, how new are they? Two weeks in a train. Well, hands were too fidgety. Guy couldn't even keep them straight long enough to hold the refractor in place, so now it's a dud until I fix it myself. Warwick rubbed his face. Let me guess. You're standing right next to all them while they did it? So was I. I think we just figured out why they just freaked out. Warwick raised a half brow, half frowning. You realize there's no good reason to watch them like a hawk, right? Hmm, Heyman grunted, inspecting the laser pistol idly. I'm working under pressure. Thankfully, she's not my teacher. That's our next piece. Get that other one. All right, so where are we at with all this? Much before studio, nice. I don't like debuffs. And then, you know, this is technically debuff too. This makes more sense. We don't need them immediately though. The smart should lead. That makes sense. Why would you take orders from a simpleton? Only oh, this is only the one with a plan. A smart should give out commands. Academy officers. The officers are put through many tests, both physical, and mental, before they are fit to lead men into battle. One planning level. One planning, one logistics, and starting army level. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. This is less co cost, and this, if, to me, this makes more sense since we are the Brotherhood. So we should have stuff like this. Destruction of Ranger Citadel. Eh? Kicking out scrappers. There are several scrappers, scavenger groups, making their home in some burnout buildings in the area. Any action on our end causes them to scatter, causing as much chaos as they can, including at times shooting at our own. They have to be removed before we can endure any proper conflicts. Good. Oh, so I need something next. We can wait until maybe uh, everything's maxed out. Like, we cannot make any more divisions. Maybe. Then we'll do that one later. Closing the gap. I don't care who or what else stands in my, our, our, my way. We're going to make sure we reach this enclave before they reach us. I want to see them run deeper into their mounts as they realize who exactly came knocking at the door. Liberty, yeah. Good. Can we justify on them? Oh, it takes 95 days. And how about over here? Experience scout platoons. Not bad. Fast battle plan organizers. Planning speed. Rush training programs. I don't like them rushed. Gifted field commanders. I like this. What matters in the war is always having the upper hand. A backup plan for a backup plan if that's the first plan that ever fails and falls. The wall train reserves. That's not bad too. Doesn't matter if one may fall, another well trained soldier takes place. We are one, we are uh, uh we are spirit, we will be victorious. I like that a lot too. Well trained reserves to fight freedom. Get to field commanders. That sounds like we're planning out this seems like the one we should choose. I'm gonna go with that one. Which is weird because I usually don't choose these uh spirits of the army and whatnot, usually. Usually I take forever in getting all that stuff done. Usually that's last. But I wanna be a little different this time. Summon Dagger Squad, we could. Okay, like I said, we're gonna wait. Mass recruitment drives. Pierce isn't good. Compliance growth, acquire garrisons, acquire garrisons, research speed. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to wait now. We have other things we must do too. So, call to liberty too, as well. Alright, so, will they attack us? Yes, they will. Oh, and they're forcing the attack too. Up now. So we need anti-tank. Oh, they're really trying to kill themselves, aren't they? I like it. I like it a lot. Let them struggle against us. That only helps us out. Very nice. Settlements, uh, research speed, political power, stability. Because unfortunately, we do not have a trade node yet. Eventually, we will. Oh. Mass recruitment drafts. Good. Well, I want another research slot. Trouble comes into twos. Two of our brightest of an idea. Surely this can't go wrong, can it? So we can demand this from MacArthur. Oh, they took over Havre. Alright, so we can go one, two, down to there. Then circle three divisions, that'd be kind of nice. Help him out. Yeah, 
Hit and run, I like it. Oh yeah, with unforcing the attack, that's completely, absolutely insane. I don't like the AI gets to stop the force the attack. If we're forced to force the attack and continue attacking no matter what, they should have had the same kind of requirements too for the AI. But a funny day in the bunker. Patroclus found a strange audio log he didn't recognize it on his desk. Playing it, heard Scribe Amity and Knight uh, Siegfra talking over one another. So, okay, Amity began. We have an idea. Yeah, yeah, we're thinking that we found an old pamphlet in the school nearby. Basically, uh, a science drive to get people really, really... It'll be super fun, seriously. We swear it won't go wrong. We'll overlook every detail. And nothing could possibly go wrong. We'll see about that. Hey, look at this. Caps and the science drive driving the science drive. Time will tell how the science drive goes. Hopefully it'll be for the better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not bad. Harriet. Well, wall painter. Decorated hero. It's okay. It's pretty generic. Population micromanager. The mo most notorious among the locals here in Fort Verity. Tanya Kareva has agreed to help our chapter in exchange for continued assistance. You're not going to attack again? Please. I actually really enjoyed that. Hit us harder. I ask and we shall receive. Yay! Maybe this was a mistake, but Truck was often like to go on long walks outside the bunker, admiring the scenery and finding calm places to simply think on things without the humdrum of lights and biz busy bustling of nights. Joanna, especially preoccupied with his time and, and honors lot, Though he knew he did right by the Codex and the, by the Brotherhood, he couldn't stop help thinking of her words extensively, and as if her face was haunting him. Uh, realizing he was left too left alone with the sauce, he returned to the bunker, and found the most worst mess he had ever found. Ever. The leftovers of a mini volcano were strewn about the floor, a small plasma cloud exploded, blowing out a pipe, and somehow scribe Carmilla had been surrendered unconscious, to which no one had an explanation. Before he could express his anger, a bit of volcanic foam fell on his head, a frothy mess dripping down, and the thought of an expression of terror was on everyone's face. Uh, and though uh, uh, all he could do was laugh and give him a be careful next time, Carmilla ended up being all right. Oh, look at that, even more research speed. Surprisingly, kind of paid off. Uh, those catastrophic in scope, the science drive actually ended up being for the best. The knights and scribes are much more enthused by their projects and we're learning it now at an unparalleled rate, which is actually pretty good for us. Uh, yeah, we've only three research slots. Getting this fourth one is very beneficial. Very, very beneficial. Maybe we really don't want to get in trouble, do they? Battle for Hoover Dam. Nice. Go in, boys. We had a full good time. Beautiful. Very nice. All right. Oh, I thought they had fewer divisions than this, but whatever. Okay, so boop boop. You go there. Boop, boop. You guys go there. It's only one division. It's only a militia division to encircle as well. But you know, removing enemy divisions is a uh, goal. A very important goal. West X schematics, nice. Oh, we already have an empty tank. That's good. Uh, crowd control. How about 2277? Project Stargazer. The scouts begin to refurbish a large selection of stockpile of plasma based equipment near the bunker, supplying them with the best of resources and the mightiest of our sword is paramount. Oh, you're attacking there, huh? Huh? Well, Alright. See sure what happens. Good. Let's get everyone where they need to be, and then we'll just do a generic attack and then attack the culture of liberty. Three, two, one, go! We've lost, what, seven guys? Too many, seven too many. Kill all 3,000 of them. Not good enough. He needs more compliance, too, though. So we had West Tech. We got the, the perfect one that we wanted. Like, you could not ask for a better one. When playing with power armor. Literally could not do better. Computer Fragments. Ah, arm flip Securing power. All right, so get a load of this, all right? If we want to get this junk out of the armory with its pieces all together, setting up a workshop inside the armory and getting actual fl power flowing in will spread speed things up a heck of a lot faster than bringing out small batches and crying over repairs. Know what I mean? Five neck thread. All right, so what do we do here? 
We have no dockyards, so that's not good. So we're doing okay, actually, a lot of, a lot of things here. Um, but we're gonna need to throw this on here, too. And honestly, if you want to attack here instead, that works out better for us. Because you can circle them. Oh, they're actually getting attacked here, too. Oh, look at that. We're all thinking the same thing here. Just kill each other off. No, there's any bonuses. That's more important than conscription. Oh, wow. They were really pushing the defense over there. Wow. Now, if you go here, you might be able to help them out a little bit more. Aliens. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Got him. Thank you. Could you guys hold off here? Will they demand to right from us? Maybe, maybe not. Let's go into that one. Uh -huh. Well, let's see. Oh, we still have Warwick. Uh, I don't want anyone else on his Valiant. Wow. Brother Commander. Unit Leader Max Army Group Size. Well, I mean, that's really good for having Special Forces attack and defense, but... Group Size? He, I don't know if I really want to use him, though. He's good for, like, a, another Field Marshal. You're going to leave the infantry for now. You might actually use enforcers in the end, we'll see. That might be better. Level 4. If you're high enough already, though, we'll probably go with local leader. Life giver. Because we can't just use nothing but unlimited power armor, unfortunately. It'd be too busted if we did that like that. Lead foot. Stranger bloody mess. Um, idiot savant, awareness, go rooted for now, it's fine. You're going to be very weak, but whatever. Um, computer fragments, there's several terminals scattered in the bunker and in the town nearby, but all tear them apart. So I can take some of the wiring circuits and apply them to our weapons. And what if Scribe Amity tells me is correct, that is. Well, we'll see. In the meantime, we're going to actually throw on at least one more to so make it at least slightly possible so that I don't completely die. Oh, I didn't realize they already had anti-tank on them. 15 is not bad. Who moves it up by two more will be good. Um, nine left. There we go. All right, so we're really out of anti-tank now. Infantry equipment is so good, though. That is good to see. Yeah, let's save and see what happens. Can we go to war with these guys? I figured they were starting to start attacking us somewhere here, so. Get us conviction. Send half of them here. Alright, so this is a tac tactical failure over here. Using a militia division to hold, hold that? Not a smart idea. Oh, sophisticated infantry attack, huh? Plasma weaponry. Air Force Base. Ooh. Well, let's go back over here. Taxation on tyranny. Many people in Montana have served as leeches to their neighbors. I read that one earlier. I forgot about that. My bad. Good. Put the power armor there. Good. Walking tanks are nice. And we're going to go with, we're not the Enclave, so we're going to go with the Principal. I'll just get over there faster. I still want them to attack us quite a bit, but we'll see. I do have quite a few Militia Divisions, actually. They do have a unit of power armor, too, though. Interesting. 158, we lost quite a few, mostly because of the infantry. Uh, Patroculus, Negotiator. When you need to. Flower, Montana, oh how I wish Amity knew how much she kept this chapter together. So I'm not going to lie, Elder, but I'm kind of freaking out about this not working, so I took the liberty of just lining out everything for him. Hope the research files help. Uh, it's a couple months of work at least. Let's grab Amity. 
We could always probably ascribe damage in our own personal lives. Do that one too, because we can. Ah, look at that. It actually broke through, look at that. Fantastic. You know what? Let's all hold. Because they're gonna file or file. Send more divisions in here to work. Um and hopefully die. Maybe not. Ooh, sophisticated tech nice. Good stuff. Well, the rush of a warm laser. Towards the end, I started to question if the whole thing was starting to, de to dent in our resources too much. Now that I'm holding a plasma rifle myself, I however, remember precisely why we have ever bothered. That's yeah, some work all around. Oh, absolutely. Because we don't have an airbase, do we? Huh? No, you all just go in. If you can get to Winfred and encircle all these guys, that would be fantastic. So they're forced in defense. Interesting decision. You can see why they did it, but still. Cut them off. You have to cut them off. Do not allow them to move. Warwick's idea. I'd say I'm getting tired of all these little requests, but then I remember that I don't actually have to help them out or find them. Even though I always end up being on the search team, it's still annoying, obviously, but knowing I don't have to lift a finger certainly helps. So, an idea there's this compound out west, I right hear, supposed to have a bunch of little knickknacks and bits and bobs that we can use for Stargazer. You know what I mean. Good, we got them encircled. Nice. Help them out just in case. Nice. It's a little out of town, but I don't care. Nice, and we're done using our infantry for this. And a lot of planes, yeah. There you go. Not bad. Pretty good. Try to be as economical as possible. Beautiful. Enclave versus Brother is going to be the next episode. We'll see who actually wins in the end. Looking, or letting Thrift get to work. Letting Knight Thrift set up his proposed garage complex outside the bunker may be silly, but his conviction is undeniable. Given his past as a raider mechanic, he's bound to be speaking with some level of passion in any case. A workshop like he suggests will jumpstart a military industry like nothing else would. Mm, not bad. More stability is nice. Air technology, infrastructure. Oh, radio detection and radar already. Ooh. That's pretty good, too. Praising Alderaan Air Force Base. Alderaan Air Force Base remains in a decent state after all these years, but get only by squatters and rusted off fighters. Clearly, the runway is advanced, advised prior to further operations. Clearing out the airfield. The airfield's hangars of fortunately appear to have been a soup kitchen under control of some frontiersmen. Well, they need to be dealt with one way or another. Uh, communication is key. Establishing a key base here, and we want to be able to reach across the continent. It'll be an extensive uh, endeavor, but sooner it's taken, the better. Oh, yeah. Or you guys could go here and circle another division. Just yummy. Yay, we got this too. Let's start coring more stuff too as well. But I'll end it there. We've done very well. Now, next episode, like I said, is going to be Enclave versus the Brotherhood. Or really, Brotherhood versus Enclave. Oh, wait, what happened to. We want to go to War of the Ruminators too. Oh, well. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be duking it out with MacArthur. Thanks for watching, and have a great Brotherhood rest of your day.